Hello everyone. Today we shall discuss chapter 12 that is ratio and proportion. First of all, we shall define what is the meaning of ratio. The definition of ratio is here you see that is we compared the two quantities in terms of how many times. This comparison is known as the ratio. We denote ratio by the using using symbols like this. That is by two dots. Right? Here you see that is by two dots. Right? Therefore, we can say ratio that we compare the two quantities in terms of how many times. This comparison is known as the ratio. We denote ratio by using the symbol by this two dot. Right? Now, suppose we, in, we have taken an example. In a class, there are 20 boys and 40 girls. What is the ratio of number of girls to the number of total number of students or number of boys to the total number of students? Right? Now, the total number of students is number of girls plus number of boys that is 20 plus 40 is equal to 60. Then the ratio of number of girls to the total number of students is 40 by 60. If we change into lowest term, it will comes to 2 by 3, right? That is, this is known as a ratio. We say it 2 is to 3, right? We read as 2 is to 3 by 2 dot. Then this is the ratio, right? Ratio can be written in the form of 2 by 3 also. This is 2 by 3 or 2 is to 3, right? You have to remember that two quantities can be compared only if they are in the same unit. If they are not in the same unit, you have to convert all the quantities in the same unit. Only then you can compare. Otherwise, you cannot compare, right? That means two quantities can be compared only if they are in the same unit. Now, same ratio in different situation. Consider the following. Length of a room is 30 meter and the breadth is 20 meter. So, the ratio of length of room to the breadth of the room is 30 by 20. If we change into lowest term, it is 3 into 2, 3 by 2 or 3 is to 2. There are 24 girls and 16 boys going for a picnic. Ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys, 24 by 16, that is 3 by 2, right? The ratio in both examples is 3 by 2. Note the ratios 20 by 30 and 20 by 16 in lowest form are same as 3 by 2. These are equivalent ratios. We say these as equivalent fractions, right? Now, can you think of some more examples having the ratio 3 to 2? It is fun to write situations that give rise to a certain ratio. For example, write situations that give rise to 2 is to 3. Ratio of the breadth of a table to the length of a table is 2 is to 3. Right? Sina has 2 marbles and her friend Sabnam has 3 marbles. Then the ratio of marbles that Sina and Sabnam have is 2 is to 3. Right? In this way, we can find what is the meaning of ratio. Right? This is the way in which we can define ratios. What you have to remember that this definition you have to remember that we compare the two quantities in terms of how many times. This comparison is known as the ratio. We denote, we denote ratio by using the symbol by two dots. right? And you have to remember one thing also that two quantities can be compared only if they are in the same unit. right? Next, we will give you about the equivalent ratios. What are equivalent ratios? We can get equivalent ratios by multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number, right? These are equivalent ratios. We can get equivalent ratios by multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number. That is equivalent ratios. Next is about proportion. What is the first of all? First of all, all we have to know what is the meaning of proportion. Yes, here you see proportion. If the if two ratios are equal, uh, we show that they are in the proportion and use the symbol like this or equal to 
to equate the two ratios. This is known as proportional or equal to to equate the two ratios, right? For example, we can say 3, 10, 15 and 50 are in proportion which is written as 3 is to 10 proportional or equal to 15 is to 50 and is read as 3 is to 10 as 15 is to 50, right? Or is written as 3 is to 10 is equal to 15 is to 50, right? In this way, you can write the two ratios or you can say that these are in proportion. If the two ratios are equal, we say that they are in proportion and use the symbol four dots or equal to to equate the two ratios, right? This is or if two ratios are not equal, then we say that they are not in proportion. In a statement of proportion, the four quantities involved when taken in order are known as respective terms. First and fourth terms are known as extreme terms second and third terms are known as middle terms right for example here you see 35 is to 70 as 2 is to 4 therefore 35 70 2 and 4 are the four terms 35 and 4 are the extreme terms 70 and 2 are the middle terms right you have to remember in this way right this is the proportion and the last one is unitary method what is the meaning of unitary method that means to find the value of one only then you can find other things right suppose here given two examples two friends Ramesh and Resma and Shima went to market to purchase notebooks say Resma purchased two notebooks for rupees 24 what is the price of one notebook right here the cost of two notebook is rupees 24 therefore cost we have to find one notebook cost of one notebook is equal to 24 divided by 2 that is rupees 12 now if you are asked to find the find cost of 5 such notebooks it would be rupees 12 into 5 that is rupees 60 in this way you have to find the unitary method the method in which first we have to we find the value of one unit and then the value required number of units is known as unitary method this is the unitary method the method in which first we find the value of one unit and then the value of the required number of units is known as unitary method right in unitary method we can find the other values also right this we will di discuss all these all this question that is the overview of this chapter is we have to read ratio and proportion and also unitary method right next we will solve all the problems first before that you have to know the definition and the meaning of ratio and proportion and the what is the meaning of unitary method this is the introduction of ratio and chapter next we solve the various exercises given in the book thank you everybody for watching this video